Now, shockwaves have been felt in French literary circles. It's after the discovery of thousands of pages of lost manuscripts by a renowned and controversial author. Uh, the work by Louis Ferdinand Céline went missing more than 75 years ago, and it's believed to include an unpublished novel. The BBC's Tim Ullman has this. In a flat in Paris, an elderly man examines a literary treasure trove. The previously lost work of a writer some view as a genius, but others condemn as a villain. Whatever the legacy, this is an emotional moment. When you have them in your hands, you have a part of Celine that comes alive. It's this physical contact with manuscripts that have been hidden for 75 years and that Celine lived with and which he worked on. It's very moving. Louis Ferdinand de Touche wrote under the pen name Celine. He was regarded as one of the giants of 20th century French literature, renowned for his distinctive style and pessimistic view of the human condition. But he was also accused of being an anti-Semite, a Nazi sympathiser, and was convicted for collaboration. His manuscripts were stolen towards the end of World War II, possibly by members of the French Resistance. Rumour has it they were kept hidden away, waiting for a very specific event. In a sense, this discovery is both unexpected and expected. Twenty years ago, I asked Celine's widow, where are the manuscripts? And she said to me, don't worry, the day I die, these manuscripts will reappear. And that's exactly what happened. The documents include a new novel called London and the complete manuscript of another work, of which only a fragment had previously been published. Some estimate this find could be worth millions. Creativity and notoriety from beyond the grave. Tim Ullman, BBC News.